This video will cover the topic Solving an equation written in factored form. I don't quite understand the topic. Can you explain what type of problems we're dealing with? Okay. Usually in problems of this type, we would have an equation with a degree greater than 1. For example, like quadratic where degree is 2 or cubic where degree is 3 expressed as a product of its factors. This is often referred to as the factored form. In this video, we will be given the factored form of an expression and we are required to determine the solution of the equation. Oh, okay. I think I'm ready to do an example problem. Let us consider an example. Let us say that we have an expression written in its factored form as 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0 and say we are required to determine the solution to the equation. The first step to solve the problem is to set each individual factor present in the factored form to 0. Here, 2x minus 1 is a factor and x minus 3 is a factor. Thus, we set each of the factors to 0. Hence, 2x minus 1 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. Finally, we solve for the variable to determine the roots. 2x minus 1 equals 0 implies x equals half. x minus 3 equals 0 implies x equals 3. Here there is more than one value for x? Yes, there are two roots which is because the expression in the factored form when expanded would give us a quadratic equation. If there were three roots, the expression when expanded would give us a cubic equation. Remember that when there are more than one roots, we separate them using a comma. Thus, here the answer would be x equals 1 by 2 comma 3. Okay, I think I understand the concept quite well. In order to solve an equation written in factored form, we set each individual factor to zero and solve for the variable. Perfect. 